Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. I had a request in the comment section, which I'm going to fulfill now. I uh, did one on Chickadee uh, a few days ago, and someone said, well, well, let's do one on Dash Rip Rock. So we're going to do so. His name was Larry Pinnell. That's who played him. Uh, he was on 10 episodes of uh, the Beverly Hillbillies, but must have been a great actor because we all still remember him, right? Just like Chickadee. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the actor and uh, things he'd been in and what he did and all. And uh, let's just get into it. Lawrence Kenneth Pinnell uh, was an American television and film actor who remembered for his role as Dash Rip Rock in the television series of Beverly Hillbillies. His career spanned half a century, including starring in the first run syndicated adventures of Rip Cord uh, in the leading role of Skydiver. Theodore Ted McKeever, and as Keith Holden in Lassie. He was also a baseball player, playing on scholarship for the University of South Carolina and later professionally for the Boston Braves. Um, just shy of graduating from USC, he left the university to play pro ball for the Boston Braves. <clears throat> During his time with the organization, his teammates often referred to him as Bud, a nickname that stuck with him throughout his life. He was with the organization for a total of seven seasons between 48 and 54, playing first base and outfield uh, for the Evansville Braves, Boston's minor league. In his first year in professional ball, he broke the Appalachian League record for runs batted in with 147 uh, and hit uh, 338 for the season while hitting 18 home runs. Um, regarding his retirement from baseball, sports writer Herman Bisher was quoted as saying, his future seems unlimited. I shall always be frustrated by desire to know how a great star he might have become. Now in the base season, a baseball season's off, let me get this straight. In the baseball season, baseball off seasons, there we got it, Pinnell returned home to Hollywood. Shortly after his contract was purchased by the Brooklyn organization, he decided not to report to spring training and instead began his career in films. After being seen by a talent scout, <clears throat> he got a screen cast at Paramount Pictures, where he, under, where he went under contract. I'm having a real problem today. Uh, then he traveled to New York City to learn from drama coaches such as Stanford, uh, Sanford Meisner and Stella Adler. It's in 55 when his acting career was launched. He experienced his first role as Oliver Brown in the movie Seven Angry Men, a film about abolitionist, uh, abolitionist John Brown starring uh, Raymond Massey. The role led him to lead in Hell's Horizon, which was followed by Far Horizons, starred Charlton Heston and Donna Reed. Next film role with George Crandall, opposite Jimmy Stewart in the FBI story. Did a lot of movies, but he also did television. And he did several guest appearances on things such as Death Valley Days, Have Gun Will Travel, Wagon Train, uh, The Virginian, Gunsmoke, Bonanza, and so on. In 61, he landed the leading role on a television series, Ripcord, as the handsome skydiver. His co-star was Ken Curtis, later as Festus Hagen on Gunsmoke, as his inseparable, level-headed, older mentor and best buddy, James Buckley. Ripcord ran for a total of 76 half-hour episodes, 61 to 63, and inspired a range of tie-in merchandise, such as toy parachutes and action figures and so on. He also appeared on The Outer Limits, Thriller, the West uh, Point story, and so on. Um, throughout his career, he appeared in a variety of genres in television series and movies. He was cast in a role <clears throat> as Keith Holden in 72 in the CBS series Lassie. Uh, he made guest starring appearances in <coughs> a little bit more up-to-date stuff, like uh, Apple's Way and Streets of San Francisco and Mannix. Um, Quantum Leap, Diagnosis Murder. His film credits include roles such as The Great White Hope, starring James Earl Jones. Uh, Pinnell experiment, experimented with his acting with drama teachers 
Uh, he stage work encompassed over 50 plays, including the poker game, Desperate Hours, Pieces of Time, Dead, Autumn Soul. He wrote and starred in the signing and close up and won Best Actor at uh, Method Fest 2002 for his work in the short film Five Minutes. Throughout his career, he accumulated over 400 credits in roles across stage, film, and television, as well as commercial and print advertising. The man was everywhere. Everywhere. I'm sitting here looking at his filmography here, and it's just incredible. It's just crazy. Um, let me give you something about his personal life real quick. Uh, he met his wife, Patricia Throop, a fashion model, actress, uh, former Miss Oregon, and finalist in 1954, Miss America Passion. He was shooting a film when they met. Throughout his life, he enjoyed sports of all kinds. Uh, also, he had an avid historian and patriot uh, with ancestral links in the American Revolution and the Mayflower Compact. He died August 28th of 2013 at the age of 85. No, I just thought you need to know a little bit as a like too. So there you go. Um, yes, I'm getting this in several different places. So I, thought, I hope you found this interesting. I mean, he was he was dash rip rock. He was out there, man. He was all over the place. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Classic TV facts and trivia. Check them out. Please subscribe. Have a great day. God bless. Be great.